Well, what do you know? Surprising news, Chelsea are looking at possibly bringing in Jose Mourinho of all people. Now, I do understand the likeliness of him coming back are fairly slim, but he is in the news now, which again is quite comical in my mind. Now, the reason why he is in the news, if we're looking at this article from Gold.com, and there's multiple other sources that are saying this as well. The reason why, though, is because his odds have been slashed in half. He was about 40 to 1 odds, which in the last couple of days, he's dropped to about 2 to 1 odds, which doesn't mean the board is going to be going in his direction. But the fact that this has happened does mean that there might be some leeway going into this direction about him actually coming back to the club which again thinking about what the board has done lately this would not surprise me even though it makes absolutely no sense at all but that's the thing it doesn't make sense nor does the board make sense so for them to do this makes total sense because no sense is sense when it comes to their decisions currently at this club because since they've taken over we haven't had a distinct decision on what is going to happen they fired Thomas Tuchel probably way too early or way too late after the transfer window. We brought in Graham Potter. Things did not work out with him. Let him go from Frank Lampard. And then we spent the entire time while Frank Lampard was there vetting all these managers to bring in Pochettino, which, as we see, did not work either. So, again, it again is quite confusing. And then we heard the news that there's possibly multiple managers that we're going to be looking at. Uh, Kieran McKinnon from Ipswich, we're looking at possibly Thomas Frank from Brentford, and on top of that, I think Thomas Tuchel was linked at one point, but he has denied that, and there's probably a few other people, but right now, with Jose Mourinho, this will be very interesting. Now, I do want to know what you guys think about him coming back for his third stint, because as a fan, sometimes it's one of those things, you love it or hate it, but at this point in time, if we're trying to win something, it makes total sense to bring a guy like Jose Mourinho in, who has been a serial winner at Chelsea and pretty much everywhere he's gone, minus Tottenham, which again, I think anyone going there is always going to struggle. And for him to come back, the reason why I think the board would bring him in over anyone else is because they are looking to win something this upcoming season because going back-to-back -back seasons without winning a single trophy may start hurting them a little bit and them trying to realize that if they bring in someone like Jose Mourinho, they can inject something and hopefully win something. Now, I don't know if they will actually win the Premier League title now. I did have them as a dark horse with Pochettino as the manager, but now that he's out, I do not think we really will compete for the title next season. It doesn't matter who we bring in because there's going to be so much chaos at this club that it's not going to matter. But there is a possibility with the League Cup, with the FA Cup, and then whatever type of European Cup we're going to be in, whether that's Conference or Europa, we have a possibility of winning that as well. We've won Europa twice already. We haven't been in the Conference, which again, I hope we're not in that. But if we are, if Manchester United beat Manchester City this weekend in the FA Cup final, we would be... I would assume the highest percentage of winning that uh, conference because, again, the amount of players we have, the amount of money we spend, we should be heavy favorites in the conference. Now, Europa, anything can happen. You get a lot of teams coming in there, teams also getting knocked into it. And I'll have to go back and look at exactly how everything plays out because this upcoming year will be different. So maybe it could be easier for Chelsea, but I have to go back and look at how that all breaks down. But Jose Mourinho being the manager, with all these young players, this, I think, would be very, very difficult for him, and especially with his abilities to get players to really run through a brick wall, have some elite players saying he's been one of the managers they would play for again. But I think if these young players, with how fragile they could possibly be, this could be a massive issue because we've seen him slate different players. Um, remember Luke Shaw at Manchester United with how he was fat, how he couldn't play. And Luke Shaw's been a pretty good player. I could see him doing the same thing to Mudrick, to Cucurella, Enzo, all these players, which again, him doing that, publicizing how they need to be better, could really hurt their confidence, which then could hurt the club by itself. And therefore, again, this might be one of those hirings which would not make sense but if he were to get these players to really go into his system and again run through brick wall they could be unstoppable and this is a team that again could do a lot of damage in the premier league season but in any tournament as well and again if they can stay fully fit which is one of the issues we had this past season i think Mourinho could get a lot of these players 
but he's obviously not going to be a yes man. This is one of the big talking points that's going to be an issue for Josie because I think the reason why we got rid of Pochettino is because he wanted more say in the transfers, and obviously, clearly, Josie's going to want to have some say in this as well. We've seen this time and time again through all the clubs he's been at. There are certain players he wants to bring in, certain players he wants to get rid of because some of these players are going to deem dead wood, which, again, he's going to want to get rid of them, and the board may want to keep some of these players. So, again, this is something that could be a big issue, whereas if we're looking at Kieran McKinnon, he's going to be more likely a guy that's going to say yes to any transfer coming in and make it work with those players. And I will make a video why he actually might be a good manager for Chelsea, which, again, now I'm looking at it, there's so many different options. I don't know where to wrap my head around and which manager would be the best, but McKinnon does have some potential to make this club semi-decent and get us going in the right direction again, even though right now it seems like we're stuck in the mud, but I don't think he's going to win us anything right off the bat. It's going to be definitely a process following the process once again, which again, we don't know how long that's going to go for any manager now after we've seen Bochettino being let go after one season. And that's where, again, Jose Mourinho might be the option because they may want to win something. And when they win something, that means they can bring in other players to come into this club because now they see that we have the winning mentality. They also want to win things. But right now, complete chaos. That's all I can say at this club. I want to know, do you guys think we actually have a potential possibility of bringing in Jose again? Or do you think this has just been more smoke and mirrors, the betting saying that this is going to happen to try to get people to bet more on this and just try to sway away that Chelsea are just going to be in the news for the next couple months until we finally hire someone as our new manager? But we will have to wait and see. So if you did enjoy this ramble again, I greatly appreciate you hit the like button, subscribe down below. It means a lot. And I will see you in our next video.